Uh, I think one thing that really makes it work is that they have to feel fragile. Um, there are a bunch of stories out there where the like the like main character feels unbreakable or just too cool for school. Yeah. Um, and like you have to make them like a little bit broken in some way because we're all kind of broken. Um, and if you don't have a part of the story where they feel frail um, or they feel broken, then I think it's going to be a lot harder for it to feel compelling. Um, mm, yeah. There, so there's that aspect. And I also think that you, that you have to be really clear in what they want. Like, what are they trying to get out of this story? Um, and you can say survive because that's what a lot uh, a lot of stories about is just someone trying to stay alive. But it has to be something that is a little bit a little bit more abstract. And again, like that strikes close to the heart of the theme of the story. If it's about history or, or like whatever, um, that that you have to be clear that that the stakes for this character refer back to that and are and and uh, and, and is quite clear. Um, and so you get to see because, and like, so one thing that I like is to see how, how people change over time. Um, I don't, I like the idea of trying to write a story where it's all, where like all the books take place within like three to four years of someone's life or less. Um, that seems kind of lame to me. I Mm -hmm. want to see them change over like five, 10, 20 years. Um, I want to see them like, you know, their concept of the self change. Um, and that's one of the fun things about like foundry side. I think that actually that some people were surprised that they that had like, what is it? A two year jump from book one, book two, and then an eight year jump from book two to three, I think something along those lines. Um, I think some people were surprised by that. And I think it's because um, a lot of fiction these days is either YA or YA approximate, like close to it. And then it mm-hmm. feels kind of YA. I think a lot of people thought that, that the uh, foundry site world was going to function more like YA. But the thing about like YA stuff is that they got to stay young. Like once they get mm-hmm. to be like 25, like you can't do that anymore. Now they're old people. Um, a young adult as a former young person, um, is someone who doesn't have a huge amount of power, um, but also doesn't have a huge amount of like, like obligations. They don't have like, mm, they, they yeah. probably don't have a lot of debts. They probably don't have a lot of property. Um, they probably don't have a lot of failed marriages. They probably don't have kids. Mm-hmm. Um, so they are like unencumbered. Um, they don't have a lot of control, which is a, which is great in like a protagonist. You can like, make them do stuff like force them into corners and things like that and Mm -hmm. um and also uh they're highly like emotional they look their best and they're horny this is great stuff (laughs) um this this is like cheat code stuff for a a, a, like protagonist but um you know, as I get older, a lot of like, um, I, I really want to look at how these like characters change like over time. And I think that one of the fun things about this book is seeing how Sancha changes and she starts out being like, um, like an action oriented thief of, um, and then who is there to break the system. And to see how her concept of herself changes and she becomes someone who I think has a much wiser conception of how the world works and is mm-hmm. much more accepting of what the world will do to her. 